On November 5, 2019, Fridley Public Schools will ask its voters to revoke and replace an existing operational levy. The current operational levy of $187.43 per pupil generates $570,000 per year for the district. The proposed new referendum would ask voters to revoke an existing levy and replace it with a new levy of $497.43 per pupil, which would generate $1.5 million in funding for the district to invest in academic programs and support services for students. Taxpayers may ask, didn't we just pass a referendum in 2015? The answer is yes. Taxpayers did pass a capital bonds referendum in 2015. They also voted to renew an existing operational levy. So what is the difference between an operational levy and capital bonds? An operational levy helps support academic programs, student support services, and staffing for a school district. A portion of the funding a district receives comes from the state. However, in Minnesota, there is a disproportionate level of funding by district. Capital bonds, such as those the Fridley community approved in 2015, are used to build new schools, update old ones, add classrooms, update technology, and enhance safety and security. Fridley voters said yes to continuing an operational levy that was already in place in 2015. The operational levy the district is asking voters to approve in 2019 involves a revocation and replacement of the previous levy. As this graph shows, many school districts receive more operational funding per student than Fridley does. All students deserve every opportunity to successfully prepare for college and career. Unfortunately, districts are not funded equally. School districts with extensive commercial property are able to levy more funding for their students and schools. Fridley, like many other school districts with low or fewer commercial properties, receives less funding. Fridley has a rich history of giving its students the best education available. This operational levy will continue that support by providing students with strong academic opportunities, teachers, and staff to best prepare them for college and careers. The operational levy supports classroom academic programs and curriculum and special instruction that keep our students on a level playing field with other students across the state. Because state and federal funding has not kept up with the cost of education, many school districts like Fridley have had to rely on voter-approved levies to continue to provide the best opportunities for their students. Although the state of Minnesota has slightly increased funding for schools, the funding has not included inflation. The cost of educating our students has steadily increased, and because the funding from the state is not adjusted for inflation, the gap between what we receive in funding and the actual cost of providing education has continued to widen. The district is asking Fridley voters to approve a revocation and replacement of the operational levy that supports students on their academic paths. The tax impact on district homes shows that a house valued at $150,000 would see an annual increase of $88 in property taxes, or $7.33 per month. A house valued at $250,000 would have an annual increase of $146 in property taxes, or approximately $12 per month. A house valued at $300,000 would see an annual increase of $176, or approximately $15 per month. If approved, the cost to taxpayers of about $5 to $20 per month would provide the district with an additional $1.5 million in funding for academics and student support services. A community survey conducted in March 2019 helped identify priorities and what matters most to our voters. Our community members responded that our students deserve the opportunities to succeed in school, like other students across the metro area and state. Fridley residents said teachers, staff, quality academic programs, and support services for students are priorities. To manage costs, Fridley Public Schools has had to make difficult decisions over the past two years. Teaching and staff positions have been cut and there have been reductions in student activities and programs. To continue providing our Fridley Scholars with the education and opportunities the community expects, the district needs support to cover the funding shortfall from the state of Minnesota. If the operational levy revoke and replace does not pass, the district will need to reduce administrative, 
licensed, and non-licensed staff, reduce classroom programs and services, increase class sizes, and reduce after-school activities for students. If our community passes the referendum, Fridley Public Schools will be able to maintain current staffing levels based on student enrollment, maintain current levels of average-sized classrooms, maintain academic programs that enhance and enrich student learning, maintain student support services that include mental health and social-emotional learning. On November 5th, please remember to vote. Every vote counts.